Greetings everyone, today, I'm finally releasing my TBSU version 2.0. For installing and setting up, just download it in Planet Minecraft or in my website, the resource pack and the data pack are in one zip file. Once you've downloaded it, go to your resource pack folder and drop the TBSU resource pack then right click it and click extract here. After that you can delete the resource pack zip file. Now, for the data pack. First go to your save file folder, then choose the world that you want to install the data pack with, double left click it, then look for data pack folder and drop the data pack inside that. Same as before click extract here. After you've done that, hop in our world if it's already open, type in the chat reload and press F3 plus N to reload the data pack. Stay tuned for the new items. Keep in mind that this data pack is early release and more likely to be changed or updated in the future. Some mobs aren't here for they are being reworked. Welcome to TBSU version 2.0. I will be early releasing this data pack, which means I will be constantly updating it. So, after you've done slash reload this text will pop up. One of the newest feature is the Hutter GUI. It comes with two style. The vanilla kind of mana and stamina, and a mana and stamina bar. Anyway let's move on to the main feature or atom, the armors and weapon. To craft those weapon, you first need a forge, which is craftable throughout crafting table. All you need is 7 cobblestone and an anvil. Place the anvil at the middle bottom of the crafting table, then surround it with the cobblestone, leaving the center empty. It will give you a forge that you can place anywhere. You can place it in all four directions, north, east, south, and west. To destroy, just remove or break the block underneath, and it should give you the spawn egg back. To use the forge, you have to hit it on the lower part of the forge, and a minikert with chest will spawn. Right click it and three options will come out. Just click your desired group of armor. You have to use the first three slots in the middle of the chest. All the necessary information about the armor or weapon are present in the forge except the craft and recipes. You can find the recipes in my website under the tab of the bloodshed update. How to use the forge and information about it can also be found in my website. All you have to do is just hover your cursor to the Bloodshed Update tab, and sub pages should come down. Here I am crafting all the archaic weapons and armors. Good news though, the helmet can now be worn and removed as the previous version, once you put it, you can't remove it unless you die. The bad news is that you can't enchant your helmet yet. So you can only enchant 3 armor piece. Don't worry though, I'm close into finding a solution, with the new commands, it will be easier. I just have to try it and probably publish it in the next update. I'll just fast forward this bit cause it's just me crafting all armors and weapons. I forgot to mention that there will be no shield yet. I don't think it's a big deal, but I guess it's still worth knowing. If you're new to TBSU, wearing these new armors slow you down, and also the weapons have different attack speed. The heavier it is the slower you swing it. Archaic has only two weapons which are the Archaic Sword and the Archaic War Axe.
Now let's move on to reforged iron, which is basically better than iron, gold, leather, and possibly diamond. It's also worth mentioning that wearing these new full set of armors will give you additional hearts. The reforged iron has four weapons that are craftable, reforged iron greatsword, war axe, mace, and war hammer. When it comes to damage war hammers always deal the greatest, second are maces, third are greatswords and lastly, war axes. Like I said all helmets can now be worn and removed. Anyway it looks like this because I have a second layer that's why my crown is glitching through the helmet. Let's move on to Dwarven Armor. This is my favorite armor in this data pack. there's something about it that I couldn't explain. Moving back, Dwarven is the second when it comes to better quality and damage, Archaic is being the best and Reforged Iron is good. It also has 4 craftable weapons, Dwarven Greatsword, War Axe, War Hammer, and Mace.i if you found any bug, please let me know in the comments, so I can fix it as soon as possible. That's it for the armors and weapons. Now let's take a look to the brand new spells and magic system. I remodel everything and changed it to Elemental Gauntlet, which can be bought from Elverd the Trader. All Elemental Gauntlet has two ability. First one is Primary and second one is Sorcery. Primary act as a basic or normal attack, while Sorcery is kinda special ability. These Gauntlet can only be bought from Elverd. Elverd will spawn whenever there's a wandering trader around you. To cast a spell, simply hold shift or sneak. To change spells or mode, right click it and you'll hear a sound. You'll know if you're on passive if the two crystal like are both on the side. If the red one is over the blue, it means primary is equipped and vice versa. Keep in mind that these are destructive spells. You can turn it off by simply typing, slash gamer you'll do mob griefing false. First one is, Elemental Flame Gauntlet. 
Its primary is called Fireball, which it releases a ball of fire that explode in contact or at the end of its duration. The sorcery is called Wall of Fire which basically cast a flaming wall in front of you. Next up is Elemental Frost Gauntlet. Its primary attack is called Freezing Touch. When casted, it will leave an ice trail that will increase the caster's movement speed and melts it when walking or running above it. When casted and it hit a mob, it will instantly freeze the mob to death. Its second ability is called Blizzard which summon a blizzard relative to the caster. Moving on, it's the Elemental Lightning Gauntlet. Its primary attack is called Lightning Bolt, if it hit a mob it will summon a lightning bolt from the sky, however, if it come in contact with ground or wall it will explode. Its sorcery is called Lightning Storm, which basically makes the caster charge and release it as soon as it's overcharge. This spell could kill the caster. You have to get the other pair of the gauntlet in order for you to not die. The last gauntlet is called Gauntlet of Magnus or Equilibrium Gauntlet. Its primary is called Unbalanced Forced, which when casted, send the mob relative to the force and also damaging it. Its sorcery is called Call to the Eye, which summons a force tornado that sucks an entity. After that the tornado will collapse into separate forces leading the entities in the air and getting offered to the Great Magnus.
Another thing I want to tell you guys is that Warden Grimace and Centrium have been reworked. Grimace has a core crystal which shoots laser at you, while Centrium no longer self-destruct. I used Cloud Wolf's mob health display and modify it a bit, since invisible mobs won't show its name. Thanks for watching everyone if you have any question regarding to the data pack, feel free to ask in the comment section.